will also help you scale your business on Amazon. So if you are looking to sell on Amazon business and if you already have an existing product on Amazon, this is a great way to scale your business. If you're planning to start an e-commerce business, Amazon Business Platform is the best option for you. It's the largest growing unit of Amazon and it is currently available in these countries. Amazon Business is easy and it is streamlining your purchases for all the business customers out there. The biggest challenge that people face on Amazon Business is that there's just not enough data to validate your product, demand and trends and so much more. But that problem is not going to bother you anymore. Sellerapp is here with an amazing feature that's going to help you validate your demand, product, trends, and so much more. We're back with amazing reports in BPO, which is going to help you find the perfect product to sell on Amazon business. So let's dive in. So before we move on to what Sellerapp's B2B reports are, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to be notified each time we are posting all things Amazon video. So let's dive into it. So what is Sellerapp's B2B reports? Sellerapp B2B reports not only help you identify but also capitalize on the products that are going to be popular or are already popular on the platform. These reports tell you which of the products and categories are popular among business customers and that will help you capitalize on the same. So this is a great way to not only expand your business but to also expand the share your business holds in the Amazon marketplace. It will also help you get your desirability and discoverability of your product right on the top. It will also help you scale your business on Amazon. So if you are looking to sell on Amazon business and if you already have an existing product on Amazon, this is a great way to scale your business. Sellerapp's B2B product opportunity reports will be extremely beneficial for you if first, you are a business trying to expand internationally, second, if you want to understand a specific category or product demand on Amazon, third, you can fulfill high volume orders that the businesses want, four, you want to offer custom pricing to your customers who want to purchase in high volume from your business, and lastly, you're willing to include Amazon as a major part of your omnichannel strategy. So now that you've decided that Amazon business is the way for you to go, I'm going to tell you how Sellerapp's B2B reports can help you achieve that goal of yours. So as we discussed, the first pain point and the most important pain point that sellers have there is just there's not enough data to validate your product demands. And keep in mind, B2B buyers are often choosing sellers who offer them personalization and choices. Well, Sellerapp's B2B reports are going to help you just do that. With Sellerapp's B2B reports, you get personalized recommendations from the demand signals received directly from your B2B customers. We identify the demand and identify a product that is going to do very well for your Amazon business. You can find potential categories that you did not even think you can sell on Amazon and you can find potential products in that category that is going to help you be successful on the platform. And now comes the most exciting part of the video where I show you how you can use Sellerapp's B2B opportunity reports where you can find them and third, how you can find the perfect product to sell on your Amazon business. So let's get started. So the first thing that you have to do is to log on to Sellerapp's dashboard and click on Report Central. So here you'll be presented with two business opportunity reports. The first one is recommended for you and the second one is products not yet on Amazon. And since it's Q4, we have added two new reports. The first one is holiday gift related keywords and phrases. And the second one is Black Friday and Cyber Weekend Report. So if that's something that you're looking for, dive right into our dashboard and get your reports now. So as you can see, we have two opportunity reports here. The first one is recommended for you. So you can identify product opportunities that have a high demand and categories that you're selling in. The second is identifying products opportunities that are high in demand and may not be available on Amazon. So if you are already selling a product on Amazon, let's say you're selling laptops on Amazon and you realize that there is a huge demand for laptop sleeves, so def you can definitely sell laptop sleeves and see if there's an opportunity for you to sell a laptop sleeve in the recommended for you section. That way your Amazon business goes with your already existing product on Amazon. So as you can see, they're correlated. The second 
second one is products not yet on Amazon. So these reports will show you products which have really high demand and have potential to do really well on Amazon but are currently not being sold there. So to get your report, all you have to do is click on the download option and your report will be downloaded. Note that the report does take close to 10 minutes to get downloaded since we take Amazon's real-time data and that takes some time to get curated for your perfect demand. So that's why it takes 10 minutes, but don't worry, your report will be with you in no time. So if you want to go back to the previous reports that you've downloaded, all you have to go is to click on all downloads button and you'll be able to see all the previous reports that you downloaded and you can re-download them again. So it's as easy as that. So now we're going to be understanding both the reports that was recommended for you and not yet on Amazon. I'm going to explain each category and each column in each report. So it's easier for you to understand the report and gain more clarity on the product that you want to choose for your business. So let's start with the first report, which is recommended for you. In this report, Amazon Business creates a set of recommendations with the help of B2B customer demand signals within Amazon Business and your current listings that might be good fit for your Amazon Business. This report is refreshed weekly, so make sure that you're downloading this report weekly. The first column is Seller ID. Simply put ID of the seller who requested the report. The second column is ASIN. It's the unique Amazon standard identification number or the ASIN for the recommended products. The next column is item name, the title of the product. Column number four gives you a hyperlink to all Amazon product detail pages of that particular product. The next column is brand. It shows you the brand name of the product. Column number six shows you category the primary product category in which the product is listed on Amazon, for example, electronics. The next column is subcategory. It shows you the secondary product category in which product is listed on Amazon, for example, computer monitors. The next column is lowest price in the last week. It shows you the lowest price offered on the product in the last week. It excludes shipping price. Next, it has FBA offer. The value is true. It means the least one of the fulfillment Amazon offer exists on one product. On the other hand, if it says false, it means there are no FB offers on this product. Column number 10 shows offer count, which denotes the total number of active offers on each product. That includes Amazon retail. The next column has Amazon offer. It has the value here that is true. It means that an active Amazon offer exists on the product. If it's false, it means there are no active Amazon offers on the product. Next, it has offer with VAT invoice generation. This field will be equal to true only if it has at least one offer from a seller who has adopted an automated solution for VAT invoice generation. This type of offer will guarantee that the buyer has access to downloadable VAT invoice. The next column is review count, which shows the total number of customer reviews on each product. Next comes B2B sales rank. This column shows the sales rank of each product at the category level. The metric is based on only on Amazon business customer purchases. B2B sales rank growth measures the growth of the business rank over the past 30 days. It can be high, medium or low. High means that the product business sales has grown over 33% in the previous month. Medium means that the growth has gone from 0 to 33% and low means that the business sales rank has decreased with the growth less than 0%. Page views measures the number of times that the specific product has been viewed in the past 30 days. It can be high, medium or low. A high here means that the product is in the top 40% in the product category. A medium means the product is in the next 40 and a low means that the product is in the bottom 20% of its category. The column part number shows the manufacturer part number or MPN of the product. Similarly, EAN shows European article number or EAN of a product. The next column UPC contains universal product code of each product. The next column model number shows the model number of each product. Similarly, 
ISBN shows you the international standard book number or ISBN of each product. The next is is your brand offer. If the value is true, it means the product shares a brand with at least one of your active offers. If it is false, it means the product does not share a brand with any of your active offers. Similarly, in the next column, is category you offer, if the value is true, it shows that the product shares a category with at least one of your active offers. If it's false, it shows the product does not share a category with any of your active offers. Product performance column measures the product sales to Amazon business customers over the past 30 days. It can be tire 1, tire 2, or tire 3. Here, tire 1 is best performing and tire 3 is the least performing. If the product has a business sales rank under 10,000, it's considered tire 1. If a product has a business sales rank between 10,000 and 20,000, then the product is considered tire 2. If the product has a business sales rank over 20,000, it's considered tire 3. Next column is top sales rank. If the value is true, it means the product sales rank is of the top 1000 of its category. False denotes that the product sales rank do not rank in the top 1000 for its category. Next is low offer count. If the value is true, it shows that the product has less than 15 active offers. Otherwise, the value will show false. And the final column is is product on Amazon. If true means the product is listed on Amazon, a false means the product is not listed on Amazon. Now, let's move on to the second report, which is products not yet on Amazon. For this report, Amazon not only uses customer demand signals, but also uses search data, requests for quotes, and products lists submitted by their B2B customers. All of the above parameters are used to compile a list of product recommendations that are in demand but are not yet on Amazon. The report is refreshed weekly as well, so make sure that you're downloading this report weekly. Let's open a sample report and explore all the data available in there. So as you can see, the first column here is item name, that is the title of the product. The next column is brand. It shows you the brand name of the product. Column number 3 shows you category, that is the primary product category in which the product is listed on Amazon. The next column is Initial B2B Buyers Industry. It shows you the industry for the first customers who requested the product. The column Part Number shows the manufacturer part number or MPN of the product. Similarly, EAN shows European article number or EAN of a product. The next column, UPC, contains universal product code of each product. The next column, model number, shows the model number of each product. ISBN shows you the international standard book number or ISBN of each product. So that's all the data we have for you in SellerApp's B2B product apportion reports. Download these reports and get your hands on your dream product to sell on Amazon Business. And if you have any more questions, feel free to reach us at support at the rate So if you're planning to step into the wondrous world of Amazon Business, now is the time for you to do so. Our research have told us that out of 55 of Fortune 100 companies are your potential Amazon Business buyers. Also, Amazon business is expected to reach $52 billion by the time of 2023. So now is the perfect time for you to dip your toes into this amazing marketplace. So that is it for today, everyone. If you like this video, make sure to click that like button and subscribe to Seller Apps community. And if you have any more questions, leave them in the comment box below and we love creating content for you. So if you're struggling any way in your Amazon journey, let us know in the comment box below. We'll answer your question and create guide videos for the same. Do not forget to check out Seller Apps too. We are now freemium, so you do not need any credit card to sign up with our platform. And we promise you that you will find what you're looking for there. So until the next time I see you, happy selling.